Chapter 31 Waiting Uncle did not go home with them. Neither did Sister. It seemed she was due back, and of course Uncle had to show her the way. Kitty was too tired and sleepy to puzzle the matter out, but in the train, they would rather have gone home by taxi, she suddenly looked up and said, She cummed by herself, didn't she, Mother? Yes, darling. Joan and Alice were smiling, but Kitty had tumbled to sleep before she could ask the next question. In fact, she scarcely woke up when they reached home and everybody went to bed quite early. It must have been nearly eleven when Joan woke and smelt tobacco smoke. He's back then, she thought. I wonder... But she was asleep again before she could think what she wondered. And she had a dream. So it came out next day, did everybody else. But they all agreed not to tell each other until Sunday week. Why Sunday week? First, because Uncle would be back from his fishing trip. And second, because Sister was coming to tea. But it was a great strain to keep the dreams bottled up. And it is not surprising that by the time they came to be told, some of them had received a few additions.